Good morning everybody and thank you for joining me on this short training video. My name is Joe McGarry from Webworks and we are Google and Facebook marketing experts. Today what we're going to try and help you is to make the most out of your email marketing. You might already be using MailChimp or Aweb or Constant Contact, whatever. But really we want to show you how you can take show you how you can take the success that you've already had with email marketing marketing and build on it using Facebook. Before we kick in, before we go on with this, probably it's best to recap why email marketing is so successful or can be so successful. And the key thing about email marketing is that you're marketing to an audience that's already receptive to your message. You're not spamming. Your audience tends to be existing customers or people who have come to your site and registered for maybe a document or an event or whatever but there are people that you have put some effort into and these people already have a positive view of your company so what's really important about email marketing is not so much the email it's who you're talking to it's the list and clearly if that is true then the more people on this list that get to see your sales and promotional messages the better it is for you with that in mind clearly there's a problem and the problem is that with email marketing, not everybody in your list gets to see your message. Your open rates for emails that are sent out vary wildly, but open rates of 10% or lower are not common, are not uncommon. I've seen that a lot. You know, and even good email marketing might get an open rate of 20, 30, 40%. But it still means a lot of people are not getting to see your email. If we take an email list of a thousand email addresses and you get a 20% open rate, that's great. But really, that does also imply that 80% do not get to see it. You're really only getting a small part of the pie here. So let's see how we can improve that. Another thing you might or might not be aware of that is putting the open rates for your emails marketing under pressure is the new Google interface. As you can see, Google is filing emails under tabs such as social and promotional. And a lot of people are really treating this as a spam folders. An email that goes into this very often is not read. So again, this is putting more pressure under your, on your open rates. Of course, too, buried, buried in your email list is all the people that have unsubscribed. Now, these people are people that you did put some effort into and at one stage did want to deal with you, did, who do you call, want to get your sales and promotional messages. Now, they might have, things have changed for them and they might have signed off for that for many reasons. Your email system will not allow you to send out more emails to them. But still, I ask the question, might it be possible to get their interest again? Would a strong offer get them back on board? You can't do that via email, but maybe we can do it through Facebook. So yes, Facebook. What's Facebook got to do with your email list? Right, quick recap. Facebook is the most popular website on the planet. We know that. So that means there's a great chance that a lot of your clients are already on Facebook. And if they're on it, they could be on it multiple times a day. So a lot of your audience, a lot of your target audience could be on Facebook. And what we also know about them is that when they created their Facebook account, they did so using an email address. And the chances are it's the same email address on Facebook that they used when dealing with you. So now we have a connection between the two. So let's exploit that connection. Facebook will allow you to take an export of your email list from your Aweber, your MailChimp, whatever email program you're using. It will allow you to upload that up into Facebook and Facebook will then check your email addresses against the email addresses it has in its database of all the accounts it has and it will try to match them. And in my experience, typically around 70% match rate is, 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 get, is being had, which is very high. And then what Facebook does is create a list for you of these email addresses that match, the ones that are, that are on your mailing list and are also on their records. So what do we do with this list? Well, within Facebook, as you know, we can run ads. I'm sure you've seen them. But now what you can do is you can run ads, but you can select as the target for these ads, the mailing list that Facebook created for you. And if you do this, you can be guaranteed that your ads will get in front of these people when they log into Facebook, at least once and possibly more. So go back to our previous example of a 1,000 email addresses with a 20% open rate, which means 200 people get to see the, see the email. Now, if Facebook matches 60 or 70% of that email list when it's uploaded into Facebook, 
we're talking about are six or seven hundred people getting to see your marketing message from the same list. That's nearly treble the original um, target. So what we're talking about here is laser targeted, laser targeted ads, putting your ads in front of the right people every time. And there's not too often, there's not too many systems that can guarantee you that. And what we see here is an example of some of these Facebook ads. You can see the center one, the large ad, is what we call a newsfeed ad. And then on the side, we see a sidebar ad. Now, these are pay-per-click ads. People will click on these ads to go to your website, to go to your Facebook page, blog post, whatever it is you want to achieve. But they're highly effective. And the success rate that many of my clients are having with these is really exceptional. Now, this video will not go into how to create Facebook ads. That's for a whole other video. But at the same time, now what I hope you've seen is if you're going to run ads, it's all about how you target your ads. And now you have a way to target ads at, a, at an audience that you really want to be targeting your email list. OK, so that's the why. So how do you do it? Now, I'm going to use Aweber as the example for today. But the, but the process is much the same. Constant contact, MailChimp or whatever. So the process is much the same. If you're using one of these other programs and you have a problem with it, just drop me an email or leave a comment here and I'll put together a short video. But anyway, what you can see here, if you're an Aweber user, is a page that will be familiar to you. Number one, you might have multiple lists in your Aweber account. So the first thing you do is select the list that you want to export. Number two, under the subscriptions tag, subscribers tag, click the manage subscribers button. And then number three, you need to decide how many people out of the list or how you want to filter the list that you're going to export. Now, a quick aside here. We mentioned earlier on about targeting people who have unsubscribed already. So let's say you've got 10,000 people in a mailing list and 1,000 of them have unsubscribed. Here you could export, using option three there, you'll see unsubscribed. You could export just the unsubscribed people. And then we could target them with a very strong offer. But anyway, here, here you export the list. At the bottom of that previous page, there's a button that says export to CSV. Select that and then just save it, give it a name and make sure it's a CSV file. So that exports your list from Aweber. Now, now we must flick over to Facebook. At this point, we have a CSV file saved. So if you're, again, MailChimp, Aweber, whatever you're using, at this point, we're all back doing the same thing. I use a Chrome browser, but you can use whatever browser you want to use. So number one, under the cog symbol, drop, you click on that, you get a drop down menu, select manage ads. And this will bring up this screen and you'll see on the left hand side, you'll see the audiences button, select that and then click create audience. Now what this is, what we're actually doing here in Facebook terminology is creating what it calls a custom audience. So click the create audience button and you present it with this screen. And then what you do here is select custom audience. And again, now here, what we need to do is we need to upload the email, the email export from our Aweber account. So the first thing we need to do is give it a name. The second we need to do is select what kind of file we're uploading. There actually is other options besides email that we can use here, but today we're using email. So select email and number two. And number three, use the, the um, button here to navigate to your file on your hard drive and upload the actual file that you exported from your email system. So once you upload that, Facebook is going to take that. It's going to check, and as you can see in the dialog box there, it's going to tell you how many names it sees on your list or how many email addresses it sees on your list. And it will tell you that it will go off now and do the matching. Typically, it can take 30 minutes. I've seen it where it's taken 24 hours at times for this to happen. But often we'll go and match it. And when it's matched, the email addresses on the list that you supplied against the email addresses it has in its records, it will let you know. And when next time that you go back into your audience section, you will see your new audience there. And you'll see here where it tells you how many people it matched. Now, a quick word of warning. You can only use this list if you have at least 500 people matched. If it's below 500 people, Facebook won't let you use this to target um, ads to people. So there you go. So now you have your list. So now what you need to think about now is the ads that you want to run to these lists to see if you can get, increase your sales. I hope you find that useful. Uh, my name is John McGarry from Webworks. If you have any questions, you can get me at that email address or you can call me on the phone number supplied. Again, I appreciate if you could share this little video on your Facebook account or link to it from your blog or your website. Appreciate you taking your time here today. And again, if we can be of any help, 
don't hesitate to contact us.